Hello, I'm Fields Mosley for Intermountain Therapy Animals. We introduced Reading Education Assistance Dogs, the Read Program, back in 1999. The first person to welcome our idea and invite us to read with children was Dana Tempowski, who was the PR director at the Salt Lake City Public Library at the time. We asked her how she remembered that day. I was really working on the mechanics of running that program, and it wasn't until I saw a child sit down and read to the dog for the very first time that I really understood the power of the read program. And they would get into their own little world. It was this magical experience that was happening between the child and the dog. Now, 20 years later, Reed has spread throughout the world with registered groups and individuals in 25 countries at last count. It's not uncommon for observers to call Reed magical, as Dana did, because so many positive things can happen for children who participate. Reed is not just a charming entertainment, but true animal-assisted education, an in-depth literacy support program for children, and it can have life-changing impact for struggling young readers. It's so much more than just kids reading to dogs. Nearly every student that goes through the Read program, I have seen an increase in their confidence, their ability to read. Both have happened. Um, I can't. I have countless stories that I could tell about parents that have come to me and said, "This program has saved my child's life." So a student came to our school mid-year and we recognized right away that he had some skill deficits in reading and he lacked the connection and the sense of safety. So he would come to school with his hood over his head, keep his hood over his head most of the day, which is oftentimes a sign that they're not feeling safe. He had already been retained. He failed, unfortunately, the assessment for our Florida exam for reading and so he was gonna have to be retained yet again so he came to summer reading school and during that program we had the opportunity to put him in the read program for the summer the transformation in that child in just the five weeks that he was with us was phenomenal i began to see a change in his affect i saw him laughing for the first time and he'd been at our school for about five or six months and i've never seen him laugh or smile he ended up passing the alternative exam to be promoted to the next grade at the end of the summer program. At our celebration, at our read celebration, he actually hugged the, the handler, which I'd never seen that connection with another adult in the building. And that just speaks volumes to me about the read program and what it does for kids is that gives them that sense of safety and connection around literacy and reading and opens them up to that world. One of the things that I enjoy most about the READ program is that it really truly develops that love for reading. And I think sometimes we, we think about the growth of academic, you know, hey, they became such better readers, but I like to look at it long term. What are the effects of what we're doing with these kids? And what kind of adults are gonna come from doing this program? That to me is the biggest benefit, that it's a lifelong love of reading that we're instilling early on in students that either lack the confidence and or lack the skill set to, to read successfully. And so this program brings that out in students, brings out that love of learning to read and love of reading. I think the best side of this is the self-esteem that you see the children blossom with, their confidence level is just soars because the dog doesn't correct them, the dog doesn't laugh, the dog doesn't make fun if they can't pronounce the word. I had a little boy that told me that he wasn't afraid to make mistakes anymore. Nothing is more motivating than having an animal to sit with. It calms them down, it gets them excited about actually the task of reading. A great example is some of our students who come in as ESL or English as a second language. And I've had one little girl this year who didn't speak any English. But the first time I heard her speaking English was when she had a chance to talk to Ben out, our reading dog. And she was whispering to him and I couldn't believe what she was able to say. The dogs just bring out a different personality than we can see as adults. 
We just recently had a retirement party for one of our long-term dogs, and it was fun to see the support from the community who wanted to come in and say goodbye to this Reed dog for one last time. We had paw prints that they could write goodbye messages to him, and we hung them on the wall, and a lot of people came and wrote touching messages about how this dog, Lincoln, had touched their lives. It was a really heartwarming experience, and to me that was a huge success, to just see the impact that this one dog and his handler had made on our little neighborhood and community. I've had children that come in and I think, this child will never get through a whole sentence. And at the end of the year, they're reading and they love it. It's weed into a dog and I really like dogs. And it's kind of fun weed into a dog when he could actually listen to you and you could kind of understand him. I really didn't really like weed in that much because I couldn't weed, I got frustrated and stuff like that. But since I have Romeo and Miss Phyllis by my side, I could read much better. I kind of help Romeo understand the story and it kind of makes me feel comfortable. E thing. Anything? Can you tell what that, that word is? Every mm -hmm. Perfect. thing, everything. Yes, yes. nice. Romeo and Miss Phillips are the best <laughs> within our country. This is Quinn's second year, and she is just doing fantastic. Like whenever I first started reading with Maddie, I noticed that reading would be a really great thing for me. I light up when I walk in the door because I know like I'm about to read with her, and she is super fun to read with. Whenever she lays next to me, I can know that she's listening because she's also looking at the book with me, and so I can tell she's listening. Isabella is my daughter. She's eight years old. She's in the third grade. She's a bit shy, and so with reading, I think in the classroom, it is a little bit intimidating, um, especially when you're maybe not as fast as the person next to you. There are some hard words. Hard word. Tingles. Yes, nice job. Thank you. She really loved the experience of working with Phyllis and Misty. It's done in such a great way that it's not intimidating. There, she doesn't have an audience. I saw an improvement with how she sounded out words and she tried to sound out words. I think because with working with Phyllis, it took the pressure off. I saw an improvement in confidence for one and the smoothness to her reading. I was in the first grade, this was 2009. I believe that I was six years old. I was really little. He was just starting to learn how to read. He was not a fan and I thought that it would be able to help him learn how to read. It would help him with his public speaking. So we decided to sign up and come to the library not knowing what to expect. So the dog that I read to was Drew. Drew was a retired racing greyhound. I think that he's better than some people because he would just sit there and he would just let me read. He'd never call me out on any mistakes that I ever made. At first, I thought that reading was more of like a chore, a hassle, kind of like homework, just something that you had to do. But it showed me that reading could be fun and it could be something that I enjoyed. And it also got me reading, not only at a higher reading level, but it got me reading just for fun outside of school. He became enthralled in the world of reading, in the world of books. I'm very proud to say that Jordan is um, a great scholar because of it. In the morning, I would always ask, are we going to see Drew, are we going to see Drew? I'd pick out my book, I'd have everything set up and ready, and I would just come in and I would just, I would just have fun. I'd just get lost in whatever book I was reading. Every year when his test scores would come back, his reading level was always through the roof. He was reading at least two to three years beyond his school grade. This program, I just can't stress how much it has helped me and how much it has advanced me in my personal life and in my academic life. I learned a lot of social skills. I learned a lot of speaking skills. He blossomed, he blossomed from this program and I just can't thank you guys enough because it's done wonders for my son. Reading to Drew and Lisa, it was just definitely an experience that I value to this day and it's just something that I just can't forget.